thought this game um, was really tight. Both teams made a lot of really good shots. We had a couple where we could have capitalized them on them a little bit more um, and didn't, which is okay. Uh, it ended up working out for us. Um, and yeah, it was a really good bounce back kind of game. Yeah, totally. You're absolutely doing like a four person job with only two people. So you're always thinking about strategy, ice, um, different paths and things like that. So it's definitely mentally draining and very fast paced. Yeah, it's fun. I'm, uh, I mean, at the second position now in the men's and women's game, it seems like a lot of soft weight shots, a lot of draw, draw finesse shots. So it works so good in mixed doubles. And then also if you can throw the high hard one it definitely comes in hand, but yeah, every end's literally like a skins game. And, uh, We've played two games so far, and both games have came down to the wire. Time-wise, too, both teams have been tight for time, so it's it's a grind. You're out there. You're you got to go fast. You got to be a thinking, and it's it's definitely a little stressful at times. But you just got to go with it and and give her. Yeah, for sure. Um, we really our goal was to come out here and hopefully get two wins um, to finish off the day at two and one. Um, so we accomplished our first goal and hopefully we can come back again tonight and get another win and kind of get on a roll from there. Yeah, it's kind of funny because it's, there's not, I think we're the, my, I haven't watched too many draws, but for the people that I've watched, we might be the only two that throw with a device. Maybe there's more I haven't seen, but it definitely makes it tricky because you're always trying to get your room standing up and if it ever falls and then you're worrying about time and it's definitely a little bit of a, a, a stressful at times, but yeah, I mean, it's, we make do and it's been okay so far. Well, we had a couple struggles in that game. Um, we weren't on the same page a couple times. And so we got some things we're going to talk about and figure out. But uh, I mean, other than that, I, I definitely, I had my goal today was to throw those high hard ones uh, a little more uh, brave. And I did that. So that was, I achieved my goal. So I was happy with that. Yeah, as Nancy said, we, uh, <laughs> I think we got away with a few out there and I'm just going to, she's the mixed doubles pro. So I'm just going to literally let her do her, uh, I think, I think a bit more, I literally forgot who had hammer in the second end out there. I don't know what I was thinking, but, uh, yeah, I wanted I was... to lay down on the hog line at one point. I'm like, yeah. I like the freeze here. You know, we'll just run it. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then he well, said, oh, we don't have hammer. <laughs> <laughs> they changed the after, rule last season, Ty. So yeah. <laughs> you don't get hammered twice, apparently. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, uh, the first half, I think we were just uh there's some loose shots. Like I didn't I played very poorly the first half of the game, and Nancy played phenomenal really all game. And um, you know, she put her first rock in a lot of in a really good spot pretty well every end and kind of let me off, you know, with some of my poor throws. And um, you know, we kind of gave both teams kind of gave each other some opportunities, um, you know, uh, through that first half and in mixed doubles, if you kind of miss a shot or two here and there, you will give up, you know, the bigger ends. So that first four ends was, you know, looking like a high scoring game, but the second half of the game, we played, you know, a little better and, uh, they played, they played pretty solid really the whole way through. So, um, the second half was definitely a little tighter, tighter played game and probably a few more better shots. The second half of the game for sure. Uh, yeah, that's right where we want to be. So um there's a lot of games to come so uh that that board's gonna move up and down quite a bit so we'll just keep plugging here and uh, go chat about some things we got to work on and uh come out firing tomorrow yep you, you're gonna give me a sneak preview of what's uh, on the discussion topic list uh well we'll make sure we know who has hammer when we're throwing um uh, we'll start with that <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, we'll start uh, with that. yeah, I mean, it yeah. it's easy to happen. <laughs> the nice thing about this event there, Al, is that we're uh, each game we are still growing. And I mean, it's been 14 months. So I mean, we're gonna have some ups and downs. And I mean, this game was definitely like a bit of an up and down game right through the game. As you can tell with the line score, I think uh, there's some good, there's some good and bad. But uh, the one thing I'm proud of today is that our team just, uh, you know, we made the shots that we needed to make. And, um, you know, I was just really happy to have a partner that uh, kept it positive with me out there and kept me uh, kept me on the right track to make some shots late in the game. So thank you, Nancy, for that. So yeah, yeah I think the discussion will be product productive and we'll grow from this again for tomorrow. Yeah, there was a lot of good shots, a lot of good sweeping. Um, like I said, we we made some that we just weren't making yesterday and uh, we're, we're happy with that. So yeah, I think, uh, you know, obviously that that's the goal, but uh, you know, we Tyrell said the other day, uh, really eloquently that we try to think about one shot at a time and uh, we just gotta it's a it's a long road so one shot at a time and we'll try to learn as much as we can during the round robin get ourselves into playoffs and then uh, see what happens yeah. we uh i think we were 
pretty happy to be in the position that we were in in the eighth end after, you know, the four early in the game to kind of battle back to be tied. And we know in mixed doubles, um, a steal can happen pretty quickly. And we made pretty much, um, I was gonna say eight, five perfect shots there to put a ton of pressure on her. And that's all you can do when you're trying to steal. Um, I think it's, I'm not a career skip. Like I've had some years in there where I played, I played front end and junior. I played third for a really long time in women. So I'm a little bit more used to it maybe than some of the career skips, but I pretty much only sweep his hard hit. So I have to sweep for like seven seconds and then I'm, I'm done. So uh, it's not as bad on me, but I definitely woke up this morning, even after only sweeping a few and I felt it a little in the shoulders. So I'll try to be a little easier on my sweepers in the future. <laughs> We, we yes, tried last year, last year, halfway through the, uh, the season, we tried uh, switching it up and making her sweep some of the rocks, but then we started losing. So I'm afraid I'm, I'm the, horse, I'm the yeah. horse for the rest of the, the career. I don't think it, I think it was just the dynamic was totally different, but anyways. I think the advantage comes from like the judging and the shot management. There's a lot of really strong people here. Like we're all trying to compete at the highest levels. We're all athletes. We can all sweep. But um, if you're not used to judging and managing a stone like that, that's, you know, an, an inch over swept or those types of things can really make the difference in a game. And I think that's where you might see some of the, the skips or the non-career, you know, sweepers have a little bit of trouble. And that's such a big part of the mixed doubles game. Your angles have to be perfect. Your weight has to be perfect. So that's what I, I think. Yeah, we, um, we actually didn't play an awful end then that we gave up four. It was kind of one bad shot that ended up in the absolute worst possible place it could end up. And then I didn't get us out of trouble with my last one. So I think we looked at that and, and said that we're not playing as bad as kind of the scoreboard might indicate. And um, we played a lot of really great ends and we just had to finally put some pressure on them, which we hadn't done to that point in the game. We were kind of chasing and um, yeah, we just started off right from the beginning, made a good one and, and forced them to play shots that they didn't quite know, which I think is big because they're, they're going to make the ones that they know and they just have to go into some new spots. And uh, that's what made the difference. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, out here, if you can start making players play shots they haven't played yet, because a lot of the shots are similar, um, you're going to have a really good chance of forcing a mistake. Um, and the same side of it is like, we all know momentum in sports and in curling. And if you can answer back, like even if we can answer back with two or three, I mean, we got lucky to get four or whatever it may be. But if you can get that two or three and just start chipping away at them, um, it's, it's kind of like quicksand out there for the team that's leading. So that was really our goal going into it. Just answer back with a couple points because we know what that can do to the momentum. Oh, huge shot. I said, it's the shot of the week for our team right now. That was massive. It, it wasn't easy. Um, and yeah, that's big players make big shots and she did and then made another big one in nine. So just, uh, I'm, I'm very happy she made those shots. <laughs> um, yeah, it's different, uh, playing against Shannon, but it was a good battle back and forth. Um, I didn't want to miss my last one to win, but you know, those tight, close games that could go either way you know, you can't be upset either way, but, uh, no, I had missed an opportunity in seven for two. So I really wanted to make that double in eight and, uh, yeah, I thought we learned a lot that game and it was a great battle back and forth and the, the Shannon and Catlin played really good too. And, uh, yeah, it was fun. We're in close touch. Um, uh, we're all focused on mixed doubles, but you know, we're still chatting with each other, still rooting each other on. And uh, yeah, we had a couple moments, you know, the, the inside jokes that we have, um, but uh, yeah, it was good. And yeah, um, there's, I think this is the best prep we can do, be doing, um, you know, but my head's totally in mixed doubles, not looking ahead to worlds right now. Um, well, really. well said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just enjoying learning from Mark and uh, just trying to, get better and better and uh, go as far as we can here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You said it, no expectations, not sure, you know, both knowing that we can play well, but depends on how we're feeling and how the ice is. But, you know, we've, uh, we've meshed really well and had some great battles and, um, you know, we're, we're happy at three and zero, but obviously still a long way to go in a really tough pool. So um, we'll uh, get some rest tonight and come out and have another good one tomorrow against Fry and, uh, and Emma. Um, but yeah, that's the best start you can hope for. Yeah, I think they've been incredible. I, I think to, to take four skips and put them together and, and come together as a team the way they have and to embrace their positions and um, the com camaraderie they've developed and the shot making, it's, it's fantastic. So, you know, I've been... Uh, lucky to watch a lot of it and um and to be able to play with Val and the way she's playing and 
Um, it's great. It's great for women's curling. It's great for curling in general. And, you know, this mixed doubles format is awesome for us to, to kind of mesh the men's and women's game together and, and mesh the different styles and communication and strategy. And, um, yeah, just feel fortunate to be here. And, and I'm, I'm very happy for their team and what they've accomplished. Um, yeah, I think it's fun though. I love, I love the pace of mixed doubles. I, I love learning all the angles and especially like Mark said, the, the men and women's perspective on what's going to happen after. I'm really enjoying that part. And, uh, yeah, I just, I love the pace, love getting everything set up and then just see what happens.